All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Right, today we've got a dual call RTA that you can also run in single call if you should so wish. It's from Geek Vape and it's called the Zeus X. Now, it's been out for a little while. I've got the gunmetal version here, but I've only had it a couple of weeks or so, and it's such an awesome tank, I thought I'd better give it a review. Now, I purchased it from Nature Vape for the purpose of this review. So, without further ado, we're going to go down to the table, have a good look around this tank. We're going to put some cotton in the cores that I've already got in there, and then we'll come back up top and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, see you down there in a bit. Right, down at the table, Right, I've got the 2mm version, the EU version, which basically you've got two straight glasses. You get a spare 2mm glass as well. But for an aftermarket purchase, if you buy it from Nature Vape, you can get this bubble tank, which does boost the capacity up to 55 millilitres. But anyway, here's the box. We've got an outer sleeve. It shows you the colour you've got. I've got the gunmetal one. We've got a little bit about the address, all of that jazz. The sleeve just comes off like so. We've got Geek Vape written on it. Not a lot else, uh, so we put that to one side. But inside we get uh, a little envelope thing which has got your warranty, QC, all of that jazz. We also get a, a little user manual here in a number of different languages. There's also a plethora of O-rings, a tri-tool, and we've got a spare Ultim drip tip in there. I believe there are some grub screws as well, and uh, an Allen key also. So everything you'd expect from Geek Vape. We also get a couple of pieces of shoelace cotton, and there are four cores in it, so that's awesome. So you've got yourself two bills if you're doing it in dual core mode. And there is your spare two mil uh, tank if you're buying the EU version. Right, here's the tank then. So let's start from the top first. We do have an uh, 810 fitting drip tip, so you can put your own 810s in. We've got a nice taper going down there. Super low profile drip tip, that one. But look in the top, we've got the usual O-ring in the top, so all your aftermarket ones should fit, as long as they fit within that depth. Right, here's the Kelpie one, for example. And we also have the intake by... Uh, Mike Vapes is the specific one. I think that one looks pretty sexy on here as well. So we'll just plug that one back in. We do have bayonet fitting. So you notice we have got a little bit of groovage going on here to help you t take the top cap off. So we have got a bayonet fitting. So there's a little notches out of it. They coincide with the uh, notches on there. We've got juice filling ports on either side, generous size. We've got two, so we've got no problems of it leaking or anything like that when you're filling it up. There's the airflow hole, nice and generous as ever from the Zoo series. So put it back on, just quarter of a turn, and jobs are good and simple as you like this uh, particular bayonet fitting top cap. So adjustable airflow, we have got stoppers on either side, so that's it fully shut. What you adjust on one will obviously be the same on the other side. Right on the chimney, we've got Zeus uh, etched into it there. Got a Zeus logo uh, laser etched on that particular side. The base, we do have a little bit more knurling going on. It does uh, uh, taper down to 25 millimeters ar around the base. Here's the bottom, we've got Zeus serial number designed by Geek Vape, usual markings there. There's your gold plated 510 pin with the peak insulator that does surround. And as ever with Geek Vape products, they do protrude uh, by at least a millimeter. So if you wish, you could use this on a hybrid mechanical device, but do so at your own risk. Right, inside we do have two pieces to this chimney. We'll just take that, take the piece off, put the bubble tank on. That's what you're looking like with the, the, the bubble on. So, yeah, a little bit bulbous, but it does give you 5.5 mil of juice. So, in fact, we will put that one back on after we've done the build. But this chimney piece in here, quick look inside, we've got the usual nice bit of doming going on. This piece comes out, and that's what we look like there. So, the airflow holes, obviously coming through the top, comes in through there. This piece here, the, extra, the inner chimney, we've got an O-ring there got 14 holes five at the top five at the bottom four in the middle you've got notches which basically go over the bill deck to keep it in place but um, that piece you just push it up until it clicks get it in line with the airflow but to, to be honest when you put it back on the deck it will find the correct place anyway so we we'll just plug that one on ready put the base on the 
dilly gaff atty stand why not eh so yeah forgot to say it does come out to 26 mil around the glass and with the bubble tank i believe it's uh, something like 28 maybe a little bit more but 25 at the bottom of the base right so there's those notches it uh, uh, corresponds with uh, on that particular chimney there that you can just see so we have got flathead screws four screws we've got dual, dual core or single core basically i've got two cores in here already but if you wanted a single core you just put one leg at the top and one over on this side or one over here one over there or you could just use one side like i've done there and just bend it in the middle if you want to use a bigger diameter but there's your, where your cotton goes a nice generous size uh, cotton ports there but um, just take that chimney section off so obviously we got top airflow but that's going to be sitting over the top there so you can use that like as a as guide to where you, you want your the calls place now i've got them in that particular position there you want to make sure you can get some air going underneath the cores as well i'm getting some really good flavor with it in this position here now there is a peak insulator that does uh, separate these two I find it hard to see at the moment in this particular light but I think you can just about see it uh, just about around there so yeah just around the other side so this is your positive post here and this is your negative so like I say if you did want a single coil you could just use this screw and this screw and just put it over into the middle or you can just do alternate uh, legs just like that right now obviously this is a post this deck so believe i've been using 4.5 or 5 mill millimeters so it's up to you to find the correct height we've got it on this modus uh, minikin s3 s uh, mod here so let's just have a look at the resistance We're coming out at 0.12 ohms when you've got your calls in just place that back on there and double check your resistance because basically it is going to be like sitting just like that so make sure we've got no hard shorts so just make sure it's still reading the same resistance which it is so i've got the calls slightly spaced on this one and it's just a case of bedding them in these are used calls i did actually wick this up a minute ago and i forgot to press record so we're doing it again so hence it's a little bit moist but make sure your calls are glowing evenly from the inside out just like that It is slightly raised, so it's a GTA style, but only just slightly raised. So I basically just basically have it just sitting in top of here. I don't have it like all the way to the bottom, especially if you're doing it at higher wattages. So I'll show you what I mean. We don't need to, don't need to have the legs too long, but you just want them just enough. And when you put that chimney piece on it, we'll sort of push it down. So somewhere around about that should be fine. So the good thing with this top gap you just see there it just um there's a little like, like buffer zone so if you've put a little bit too much in it's still okay so just get your bayonet cap put it back on and you're good to go so that is the zeus x uh cord and wicked up so let's go back up top and i'll tell you what i think about it back up top with the zeus x by geek vape what are my thoughts with this one then well fit and finish and build quality all of that malarkey well this is really put together well geek vape always seem to knock it out of the park uh really am impressed with it top airflow as well so we're getting absolutely zero leaking and i mean zero leaking now the drip tip on it is a rather a narrow bore one but because it sort of goes in line with the actual slope pit on the top it is rather comfortable but because it's 810 fitting it fits your others that you might like to put on there now i quite like putting on my intake one it's a similar uh, low profile uh, tip but it just feels more comfortable in the mouth 
for me. But the top fin on this, really easy to undo that bayonet. That's just got it down to the T. The machine work on this is awesome, if you ask me. The airflow control ring, the resistance of those O-rings in there is perfect. So this is a little bit of a gush fest, this one. It doesn't have to be a long review. I just think that it's built bloody well and I'm really impressed with it. We've got that chimney piece, the internal chimney that plugs in. I know a few tanks have been doing that this year. We've got the CPTF, the single quarter, which I recently was reviewed. We've got the Solomon V3, but this one just fits together nicely like the Solomon one you sort of had to put that cap over the top and it just meant wicking it was a little bit more tricky but yeah this one is just that they nailed it when it comes to the design and build quality and all of that so let's have a little toot on it right got it 68 watts on a 0.12 build we'll have it wide open Nice and smooth. Incidentally, I've got this Modus um, Minicon S, uh, 3S, which I'm testing at the moment. Awesome little mod. Right, put out the 80 watts. It's better. So you're obviously getting loads of clouds there, but there is a bit of restriction with that airflow fully open. So 7.5 to 8 out of 10 with the calls that I've got in there. They are quite beefy calls. If you put some 2.5s in there and uh, maybe add less cotton, you might get a bit, little bit less restriction. But this is definitely on the restrictive side because we have got like the 14 airflow holes on there. So we're not getting, it's not like breathing fresh air, put it that way. So you airflow hogs out there, you might not like this particular one. But as ever, I always like to tone down the FO a little bit more because you tend to get better flavour. So we're going to put it down to 68 watts with it more or less half open. Really smooth again, the airflow, getting oodles of clouds from it. But the flavour just jumps up there somewhere. So we restrict it a little bit more. To about a quarter open now. Really smooth again. So the airflow across the board is really smooth. In fact, you could knock that wattage down a little bit more and uh, vape it like that. Getting a really restrictive vape, but the flavour is really up there. It can still, still enough airflow to cool down that to cool enough. But for me, I like to have it just about a third shut off with it about 70, 75 watts. Seems to be the sort of sweet spot to, for me with this one. And it really is a flavorful tank. You probably watched lots of reviews already, but I can concur that this is top notch for flavor. Now I've got the Glass V2. I think that one has slightly crisper flavour, but for a 25mm tank, this is definitely my favourite one of the year so far. But I do like my Glass V2. It is a bit of a monster, 31mm, but the flavour I get off that is just awesome. But flavour rating for this, it's definitely a good 9, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. But like I say, I think the Glass 2 does just edge it for me. But for like your regular sort of atty this is going to fit on all of your mods so i think it's just um, awesome the airflow's tremendous on it it's really smooth the flavor is top notch we've got no leak in at all and it's built very well indeed so i don't need to make this a long uh, video guys i just think it's um brilliant and top marks the geek vape for, for this one so if you enjoyed the review guys please give it a little thumbs up and if you're new to the channel hit that little subscribe button and hit the little bell notification as well and you'll be notified of all my latest videos now i've got my own website too it's mf8.co.uk and you can also find me on facebook instagram and twitter so until next time guys thanks very much for watching as ever and i'll see you again very soon okay cheers mm -hmm.